Who's ready for family movie night? This is what ordinary families do. Ugh, ordinary? How do we do ordinary? We're a family of super villains. Amy, what the? What? Let's try this again. We're the Maddens, a normal family that just moved into the neighborhood. <laughs> Amy, stop it. Remind me where you're from again. Toronto. Normal? Yeah, no. Jake has super strength. Pretty sweet, huh? Our mom controls electricity. Our dad's a mad scientist. <laughs> and our little brother Colby is a towel. No, wait, a dog. No, wait, a sweater. Yeah, we have some super secrets. Like we're hiding out from supers. And super villains. <laughs> yeah, I made them really mad. And normies, too. And our neighbor Hartley. We think she might know what's going on. How are my favorite super villains? Oh. Yeah, I totally know what's going on. I mean, they have a secret lair in my grandma's basement. Well, that's a red flag. The The, the Villains of Valley View is a show on uh, Disney Channel and, uh, and uh, Disney uh, Plus. Uh, it's uh, a, a multi-cam family sitcom about a family of super villains who have offended their employer to the part where to the point where that guy wants them all annihilated and they have to disappear very quickly and they're hiding out in the town of Valley View, Texas. And they they try to blend in a very suburban lifestyle. Underneath, of course, they have a, a super villain lair where they make all kinds of contraptions to try to uh, uh, dominate uh, their circumstances. But the kids uh, are trying to fit in and making friends. And um, it's actually a lot got a lot of special effects. Like I say, you know, come for the costumes, but stay for the jokes because Chris Peterson and uh, Brian Moore, the show's creators and head writers, are writing jokes that come so fast and so furious and they don't pause. And there's another one right around the corner that's going to knock, knock you in the gut. And I, uh, to me, it's, it's funny. It's got heart. Uh, and I, and uh, I, I, th I think it's going to do very, very well. First of all, I've never played a villain, so I've really enjoyed that. I've really enjoyed the fact that, I, I, like I was saying earlier in, in life, the superhero people are the people who always have to do the right thing and always have to say the right thing and blah, 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 and it's exhausting. And as a villain, you don't. You don't have to follow any rules. So it's brilliant. In life, be a villain is my motto. Um, and I love it because I'm working in Los Angeles where I live and I don't I have to travel. And I love it because our cast and crew are some of the nicest I've worked with. Chris and Brian, um, they're so sharp, who write our show, they're so sharp. They are lovely to us. They're like family. There's a million things that I'm loving on this. You know, I, I, I grew up in a showbiz family. And by the time I was a kid, I was aware of what the craft service table was. I wanted to be a piece of that for sure. But, but uh, uh, you know, the idea that at this point, certainly in my life, that I would get a chance to wear a, a suit made by the same guys who do Star Wars and all the Avengers movies and uh, it, it, it's it's kind of mind blowing. And, but I'll, but I think I wouldn't I wouldn't I, the thing that I wouldn't trade for the world is just the, the the comedic genius of Brian Moore and, and, and Chris Peterson. I mean, their their jokes just continue to astound me. And even in between takes, when the cameras are still rolling and we're doing another take, they say, "Hey, we got a new joke for you." Uh, yeah. There's just so much laughter. There's just so much laughter on that set. Um, uh, here's what I'll tell you, because I get asked it a lot, and I will never give someone an action-based response. I will always say, you have to get to a place where you spend your time thinking about the thing you want to do and get so friggin' excited about it as if it's already here. Do not wait to celebrate. Do not wait to, to see it before you celebrate. Do not let anybody tell you that you can't do the thing you want. I spent so long, Bobby, in my career being told I, I shouldn't have a British accent. I should be fatter or thinner. I should be this, should be that, should be this, should be that. As I got older, or oh, I was probably now too old, I swear to God, if I'd have known what I know now, I would have told myself to shut everyone else out. Listen to only things that suited me and that benefited me to hear. And I know that what I'm saying will sound so counterproductive to a lot of people, counterintuitive to a lot of people, because we don't. We go, look at the evidence, and that's why you know something's real. And I'm like, no, it's real because you're looking at the evidence. So for me, I will, I, and that's why when we work with younger people, and I love that, and I always say, look at how brilliantly excited you are now about your career. I can't tell you how many people will say to them, oh, well, you know, wait till you've had this disappointment or that. And I'm like, what? No, 
stay in it, stay in that brilliant feeling. It will take you through your whole life, even though people will love to argue me on that. And you can argue to be right on the thing that's horrible, but I am very passionate about people, and especially young people, not being told that they can't do things. <laughs> Come for the costumes and the effects, stay for the jokes and the heart. You're gonna like it. The Villains of Valley View, premiere event, Friday, June 3rd on Disney Channel. And you thought your neighbors were bad.